There are two ways to use Payfabric. You can use Payfabric as a standalone virtual terminal, or you can use Payfabric as an integrated solution with your ERP system. For today, I will be using Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central as the ERP system. Similar to other ERPs, Microsoft has curated an app store for their ERP system, and it's called Microsoft App Source. Accounting teams or finance leaders who use Microsoft Business Central can go to this app store and download the Payfabric app. Once downloaded, it will populate as part of the menu options within your ERP system for your accounting teams to use. This is extremely important because now with the addition of this app, you have enabled your ERP system to process payments directly from here. Without this integration, your options would be to go to a separate system and process payments over there, and then manually enter the data into your accounting system, and then figure out which payment this invoice belongs to and, and do all the manual reconciliation to update your books. Now with Payfabric activated in your ERP, you can process a payment without leaving the ERP system. In this example, I'm going to process a payment against an invoice using Payfabric. Once I have the invoice created, I will see an option called Payfabric up on the menu bar. When I click on it, it will give me various payment options related to Payfabric. I can process pre-authorization for later capture, I can run a sale transaction, or I can even send a link to the customer to collect payments from them. For now, I'm going to go ahead and process a sale transaction. Once I click the sale transaction button, it will take me to a screen where I can select my payment method code. This basically is asking you to what type of payment you want to process. You can process a credit card payment or you can process an ACH payment using Payfabric. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use a credit card as a method of payment. As you can see, for this customer, I already have a couple of credit card numbers already on file. I can either type in a brand new credit card number or I can use a credit card that's already on file. Let's continue to use a credit card that's on file. For security reasons, no one can see the full credit card number. All I can see is a card type, the last four digits, the expiration date, and the name on the credit card. Once I click OK, Payfabric is going to process the payment in real time and will let me know the result. In this case, the payment went through successfully, so I got an approval message. Otherwise, I would have seen a decline message. Upon successful approval, Payfabric has already updated your accounting system with this payment. For my next example, I'm going to send a pay link from Business Central to the customer to collect payments from them. This could be particularly helpful when you are in a situation when, where you don't have customer's payment information on file. Instead of asking the customer to read the credit card number over the phone or send it in any other way, you can empower the customer to handle payment by themselves by letting them enter the payment information on their own. Let's see how that works. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and click Payfabric on the menu bar and select Paylink. Once I select Paylink, it will ask me to enter the email address or the cell phone number for the customer. Once I have the cell phone number or the email address added, I can hit OK and it will immediately send the payment link. Now you can see the message that says Paylink sent successfully. At this point, the customer has already received a hyperlink in an email as well as a text message on their cell phone. They can click on that link and they can make a payment. As you can see right now, the invoice is still outstanding and the capture amount is still zero. Once the payment is made, the payment will be integrated back into the ERP system. When a customer clicks on the pay link, they will be taken to a landing page that is hosted by Payfabric. Here, they will be able to see the invoice. They can drill down by clicking on the invoice and see the details of the invoice, and then they can make a payment. They can pay by ACH e-check or by credit card. Once the customer selects the method of payment, they will be taken to review payment page 
where, get, where they can see what they are paying and their billing information. If they don't have a credit card on file, they can add a new credit card number by themselves. For this example, they have already have a credit card number on file, so let's use a credit card that's already on file to process a payment. Once again, this is real-time processing, and if the payment is declined, the customer will see the decline message and will be prompted to enter a new payment information. If the payment goes through, they will see this payment confirmation. This is showing the customer that the payment has successfully been processed. Upon successful payment, the customer will receive a confirmation in an email. Along with that, this payment has already been integrated back to the merchant's ERP solution and has already been applied to the corresponding invoice. So let's look at that. If I go back to Business Central and refresh the screen, I can see that this invoice has now already been paid. So the amount that was outstanding is recorded under the capture field because the payment has been processed and the invoice has been updated. So this is how an accountant who is using an ERP can seamlessly process payments directly inside of the ERP without ever leaving the ERP system and without ever worrying about any manual data entry. In this section, I will demonstrate how you can set up a customer portal to automate some of your accounts receivables. Very similar to how we go to a customer portal to pay our utility bills, our cell phone bills. Likewise, you can set up a portal where your customers can go online to view their invoices and make a payment. I'm going to log in to PayFabric Receivables customer login page. Once I'm logged in as a customer, it will take me to a summary page where I can see a snapshot of my account. I can see my outstanding balances, my past due balance, and even how much credit I have on file. On the left navigation pane, if I click Pay Invoices, I will see a list of all the outstanding invoices that I have in the system. You can use PayFabric Receivables as a standalone solution or integrate it to your accounting system. However, if the portal is integrated to your accounting system, all these invoices will be coming directly from your ERP system. I can click on any of these invoices to see the invoice details. I can download a copy of this invoice. I can print it from my records if I want to. I can select multiple invoices to pay, or I can even make partial payments. For example, I'm going to select this invoice, and then I'm going to click the Pay button. Once I click this button, it will take me to my payment page where I can review one more time what am I paying and how much am I paying. I can see the invoice number and the, um, and the amount I'm paying against that invoice. I can also use any credit I have on file towards this invoice. Scrolling down to payment methods, I can, use, I can see my digital wallet. In this example, I have two credit cards and one ACH number that I can use to make a payment. If I want to add a new payment method, whether it's a new credit card or a new ACH, I can click change payment method and then select new payment method. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and use a credit card that's already on file. Although you're allowing your customer to use a credit card that's already on file, for added security, you can also force them to add the CVV2 code. That's the three-digit code, security code behind Visa and MasterCard and four digits in front of an Amex. Once entered, I'm going to go ahead and click the button that says confirm and pay. It will process the payment in real time and it will tell me the result. Once the payment is processed, as a customer, I'll be notified immediately of the result. If my payment was declined, I would have gotten a decline message and the process would have stopped right here. I would have been prompted to enter a new payment information and re-attempt to pay. This can significantly reduce your time as a merchant to chase declined payments. However, in this case, the payment went through successfully, so I got this approval message. Upon successful payment, PayFabric will send this confirmation in an email to the customer, and at the same time, PayFabric is going to integrate this payment back to your accounting system, and it will apply this payment to the corresponding invoice. Once again, you can use the system as a standalone solution as well. However, in this example, since I'm using this as an integrated solution, payment has already been integrated back into ERP. 
Payfabric has created a cash receipt entry inside of Business Central and has applied that cash receipt to this invoice. So let's look at that. If I go back to Business Central under the cash receipt journal window, I will see an entry that shows the payment has already been applied. If I scroll a little bit to the right, I will see that it was already applied to the right invoice. This can significantly reduce the time it takes an accountant to manually process payments and manually enter the payments into your accounting system by trying to figure out which payment goes to which invoice. With Payfabric, everything is mapped out and as your customers go online to the portal to make a payment, those payments will seamlessly integrate back into your accounting system in near real time. Now, once I go back to the Payfabric customer portal, the invoice that I just paid has disappeared since it's already been paid now. So now I see only three open invoices under my account instead of four. The customer portal has many other functions that can help automate the collection processes, such as automatic payments, where your customers can enroll into an automatic payment plan, where their payments are automatically processed on a scheduled basis. You can also use the system to collect deposits or prepayments. As a customer, I can also see my accounts receivable history with the company. This history tool is very powerful. It has a filter option where you can filter the data by document type, date range, or even by amount.